Music takes you places you want to go, dreams you want to accomplish, and emotions you want to feel. I've been using Apple Music for over six years now, and within these six years, I've learned so many useful tips and tricks that I just need to tell you. So this is gonna be such a feature-packed video. This is gonna be this is gonna be a video with a lot of value. If you love Apple Music, you just clicked on the right video because if you thought you knew how to use Apple Music, keep watching, you're gonna love it. All right, so as you guys know, widgets are now here with iOS 14 and we now get the Apple Music widget. But there's two things that I don't like about Apple's Apple Music widget. One, that it's red and I don't really like the new Apple Music logo. And two, that they just display random or recently played music or album, witches or playlist. It's fine, but there's one app that solves that. So with the app called Soar, which by the way is a phenomenal app for Apple Music, it tries to make you discover new music within Apple Music. It's a different app, it's like a client, definitely recommend it. But anyways, with Soar, you can actually decide what shows up on your widget. So do you want a playlist? Do you want an artist? Do you want an album? It's awesome. I've got my favorite artists, I've got my playlists all on my home screen, which is just awesome. Apple, you really, really, really gotta allow us to put whatever we want inside of the widget. Now with iOS 14, we also get Listen Now on Apple Music, which is basically the home of Apple Music. In there, you'll see your top picks, Apple recommending you amazing playlist and new music. You can also see what your friends are listening to over there. Okay, so at the bottom of the Listen Now tabs, you'll find the replay playlist from Apple Music. What this is, it's basically Apple letting you know what you listen to the most within every single year. You get the Apple Music replay 2020, for example, and you'll see updated weekly what you listen to the most throughout the day. But something that Spotify is so much better than Apple Music is that they really, really give you a summary on what you listen to the most within every single year, which is something that I kind of wish Apple would do. But they actually do it Kind of. You gotta go to replay.music.apple.com and there you'll have to sign in, but there you'll actually see the artists that you listen to the most. Mine was Jay Balvin. Let me know in the comments down below what yours was. You also get to see, you know, your songs, your albums, how many hours you listen to within every single artist. So it's kind of like Spotify. Spotify does it better, but a lot of people are like, there's no way on knowing. There is, there is. Just go to the website. It's not built into the app but you can do it within Apple's own replay website, which is awesome, I guess. There's a bunch of ways that you can listen to Apple Music. The obvious, HomePod, HomePod Mini, those are all amazing. Then Beats, Beats Pill, Beats Solo, Beats Studio, AirPods, AirPods Pro, normal AirPods, those are all amazing and I totally recommend them, especially the HomePod. The HomePod ecosystem is absolutely incredible. But did you know that there's some other devices that are not made from Apple that are compatible with Apple Music? It's, it's quite amazing. I got the Amazon Echo Show 5. All the Amazon Echo devices allow you to play Apple Music, but the Amazon Echo Show is like a home hub that is very cool, that is actually touchscreen. It's quite affordable. All the Amazon Echo devices are quite cheap. So if you want a smart speaker that plays your Apple Music library, make sure to get an, an, an Alexa. I mean, it's quite great. I, I'm pretty pleased with it. Once again, there's some stuff that I don't like about it, but I'm pleased. One thing that I rediscovered recently is the Curators tab. So if you actually search Disney, for example, and swipe right, you'll see a Curators tab. Tap that and you'll be on the official Disney profile. Disney is just an example. You can search whatever your favorite brand is. But with Disney, for example, you've got a bunch of different things. For example, your Disney favorite playlists, your Marvel, Pixar, Star Wars, and more. For example, Mandalorian, you've got official playlist of that as well. All breaking down for you. It's Disney season, the essential Disney albums, and there is actually a Disney episode like on radio on apple music radio you guys need to check it out it's like about one hour long so while you do homework or whatever you can listen to it it's seriously unbelievable if you're a disney fan you will be mind blown if you're a disney fan listen to it and let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it it's it's so beautiful here's another new trick for ios 14 so if you go inside of an artist take j balvin for example apple has added a lot more there too apart from their top songs albums music videos you can now see their live albums what they appear in and interviews and an about section so if you want to know when they were born where they were born 
all that source of info of the artist, it will be right there and also similar artists. So let's say you really like a new artist that you found out and you wanna know more, more music like that, you can see the similar artists. So that's the way, that's a great way to discover new music. Something very new, not with iOS 14, but with iOS 14.3, I believe, is animated cover art. So when you go to specific playlists, for example, the Today's Chill playlist, you'll see a beautiful animation within that playlist. I seriously wish Apple would do this to all of their own playlists. It just, it's just so awesome to look at. There's a bunch of different ones. A very useful tip that I'm gonna give you, it sounds kind of obvious, but I talked to some friends and they didn't know about it, so you might probably not know as well. On your library, on the top right, you'll find an edit button and there you'll be able to select and deselect certain things. So for example, if you don't really use TV and movies inside of Apple Music, you can deselect that. Or maybe you want to download it or maybe you want composers always on your library. I know this sounds kind of obvious, but if I help somebody, that would make my day. Go over to search, you get categories now. And these categories have some amazing playlists. Let's say Christmas, dance, feel good, party. There's a bunch of them. My favorite ones that are like very, very good are study and sleep. So when I study, I jump over to that category and there's an amazing playlist over there and sleep. There's some very good like meditation to relax, calming music. So whenever you wanna sleep, maybe even study, I mean, maybe you shouldn't put the sleep while you study because you're gonna fall asleep and you've gotta study because if you don't study, you're gonna fail your exam. And if you fail your exam, you're, gonna, you're not gonna pass college. And if you don't pass college, you won't be able to work. And then if you won't be able to work, you're not gonna have money. And then if you, you're not gonna have to eat, so. Talk to me nice. Here's a very cool trick. Not all albums have this, but on specific albums, it might be the artist reviewing his entire album, track by track. That's what Miki, one of my favorite artists did. And it was fun. I mean, if you love music, if you love a specific artist, having like extra features for a specific album is something that I personally really like. So if you love music, make sure to go to the bottom and maybe you'll find some extra videos surrounding that album. The Apple Music team always works very hard and you can clearly see that because of the playlist, they are simply incredible. Here's some of my personal favorite ones that you just need to check out. Starting off with the Barack Obama A Promised Land playlist, today's hits, new music daily, essential Christmas, acoustic hits, bedtime beats, glow, heartbreak pop, and so much more. Those are my personal favorites. Also, if you guys aren't following me on Apple Music, I don't really know what you're doing with your life. I've got four Apple Music playlists. I've got Breathe, which are the most calming lemons in the entire industry. Fresh Lemonade, the latest and greatest music supporting the small and the big artists. And then my personal favorite, the Not In English playlist. A playlist with music that is not in English. As you guys can see, the cover, I totally grabbed exact inspiration from Rosalia. So what do you guys think of the two covers? Which one do you guys think is better? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm just. I'm just very proud of that playlist. The cover is just, I really like it. All right, the party doesn't end here. Let's continue with some tips and some tricks. If you tap on the bottom right, you'll see the up next section, which is basically songs that will come after after that song ends. Now, the way that I use it is in the shower because in the shower, I always want new music. I want different music. I don't usually put a playlist on because you know playlists are usually music that I've already listened to. And I basically take a three to four to five song shower. So instead of creating a playlist, I'll just go to a, to the up next and select like five songs that I want to listen to within that period of time. So that's something that I do it. What do you use up next for? Let me know in the comments down below. One of my favorite features on Apple Music are the essential playlists. So let's say you wanna get to know an artist, but you don't even know where to start. The thing that I simply do is go on the essential playlist of the specific artist that I wanna get to know. The essential playlist has the best the OG songs for every single artist. I love it. Like sometimes I, I'm like, okay, I wanna discover a new artist today. I simply go on the essential playlist and I discover some great music that way. You know that song that you don't know the artist, you don't know the title, but you know kind of the hum, you kind of know how it goes. For example, you know, the song that's like, tonight, 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 I wanna be with 
you tonight. You know, you know, like you don't really know. So with Apple Music, you don't have to search for the title. Just if you search up tonight, 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 I want to be with you tonight, like I just sang, it will actually show you that that song is called Summer Cat by Billy. And it's, it's, I've used this so many times, like I can never remember titles, so I just search up the lyrics. That's what I do. So if you really love music, that means that you really love certain artists, that means you're a fan. And if you're a fan, you wanna be the first person to listen to that first song from Billie Eilish, that first song from whatever artist in specific. So the way that Apple Music works is, write this down if you want, every Thursday at 11.59, basically every single Friday, but at Thursday at 11.59, the Explore page from Apple Music gets refreshed. So if you wanna be the first one to listen to the new music, if you're a real fan, you wanna be there first. So that's, that's something that I do. Every single Thursday at 11.59 of every single week, I put on my AirPods, I put on my beats, and I just start listening to the music, to the new music. It's just, and then I add it to my playlist. You, I, I don't really know why you're still not following me on Apple Music. Once again, links are in the description. If you're one of these people, that just, that just hurts my head just listening to it. Did you know that if you actually go inside of your alarm, you can actually pick a song from your Apple Music library. That's, that's something that you don't ever, don't ever do that. It's seriously the worst sound in the world. If you put on something, I don't know, be careful with this by the way, because if you really like a song and you're like, I'm gonna put it to my alarm, chances are you're gonna get sick of that song very quickly. So be careful, be careful with adding your favorite song to your alarm. All right, and the last tip that I'm gonna give you is I cannot express how important this is, but it's so important to actually like, it's important to love and dislike songs on Apple Music because the Apple Music algorithm is so good. It's as good as Spotify. So I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a Spotify or an Apple Music user. You need to tell Siri, you need to tell Apple Music the stuff that you like and that you don't like. Like this Apple knows what you like. So whenever you're like Siri, um, play me some music that I like or I, whenever you wanna discover new music, there's a bunch of playlists that are recommended for you. The only thing that you need to do is every time you really like a song, make sure to like it. And every time you really hate a song, make sure to dislike it. And that's a wrap on the video. Over six years of experience of Apple Music all crammed into one video. Let me know in the comments down below if I missed any tip, any trick that I should have shared um, with my audience. I just love Apple Music, I love music, and I'm just so pleased with the service, and I absolutely love it. Let me know in the comments down below, by the way, are you guys team Spotify or team Apple Music, and I will see you in the next one. Subscribe if you're new, and yeah, see you in the next one.